Yo YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Fizzy here bringing you guys a new video. Today is Wednesday and I haven't uploaded in quite some time. Sorry guys, I've been kind of mellowing out trying to debate whether or not Destiny, uh, whether or not I'm going to keep playing it and and uh, yeah, just it's, it's been a little tough but uh, today's the day. Today's Wednesday, it's arms day um, and if you guys honestly, if there's any advice I can give you guys right now is go out and pick up these packages you know don't wait like i did like on xbox i have a quite i have quite a few uh packages i do um and weapons i have a pretty good variety uh sorry i'm just gonna open some engrams real quick um but don't wait guys until like year three because honestly we're, we're not going to get this chance you know there's some rolls on these guns that we'll never be able to get again and they're really good rolls they're guns that you can use so we're gonna go ahead and see what banshee has for us today i picked up three primaries last time uh so we'll see what he's got for us Alrighty, so the Suros auto rifle this thing has high rate of fire and stability is pretty good it's a little over half um, we're gonna look at the tier one so this one is for primarily crouching but the perfect balance perk is what you can get casket mag reinforce and take a knee the take a knee perks kind of pointless but the two perks on here that are pretty good that I would recommend is reinforce reinforce barrel and perfect balance that's nice that's that honestly that's pretty good uh, so tier two this one I, I would stay away from guys the only reason being is it has outlaw that serves no purpose on an auto rifle nine times or maybe i should say eight times out of ten kills with auto rifles are body shots very rarely are you going to get them in the head uh, especially with an auto rifle that has such high fire rate uh, it comes with fitted stock or oiled frame and then small bore or single point sling and then of course outlaw that that one honestly guys is worthless and so for the tier three comes with we see hidden hand and we all automatically go freaking goo goo we want to know um, but it has hand laid stock and casket mag and that's pretty much it this thing honestly It's kind of just disgusting like it has nothing at all So if I had to choose one of the three guys, I would go with the uh, tier one um, And that's the one I'm gonna choose uh, the next is this Judith hand cannon um, I know very little to nothing about this thing. I've never used it um, so the tier one perk comes with relentless tracker uh, who's next and it has snapshot it has explosive and then reinforced barrel honestly guys a lot of people get confused with the who's next perk and uh, secret round or final round this thing is honestly it's kind of it's it's really good on snipers and I guess um, hand cannons because typically those are the ones that we're doing things with but it's just I would primarily want it on an auto rifle or I guess a pulse rifle something with higher rate of fire to it uh, but not these things, not the hand cannons, not so much. Um, and then this one comes with surrounded, spray, and play, which is not too bad. Um, snapshot, explosive rounds, and this one has small bore. Not too bad, not too bad. And then the final one is crowd control, who's next, snapshot, explosive rounds, and reinforced barrel. Um, honestly, if I had to pick one, it'd probably be the tier 3 one. Uh, just because of uh, crowd control and a reinforced barrel the range on it is looking nice uh, so that's probably the one I'm gonna pick the tier 3 one um, something to know is all three of these have explosive rounds the last perk which is kinda like the middle perks they all are pretty much similar except for this one um, I'm gonna go with the rank 3 one and then finally finally guys this guy oh my gosh this is the meta this is the meta this hand cannon, guys, is honestly godly. So let's go over the, what this guy has. This one comes with luck in the chamber, quick draw, injection mold, and eh, yeah, right. And then Icarus. Icarus is so nice on hand cannons now, now that they boost it. And then the sights, those matter too, is quick draw and true sight. Um, and then let's see the tier two. This is the one I want though, guys. I'm leaning towards it, but we'll go ahead and inspect this one because there might be something on it that I just, I, I hate. True sight and steady hand. Uh, so the luck in the chamber, that already has me. And brace frame, oh man, okay, okay. Life support, oh, oh, so juicy. And danger close, yo. And then let's see what the last one, the tier three is. Uh, we got quick draw, true sight, uh, army of one, snapshot, injection mold. Icarus and Danger Close. So it looks like they're all pretty much similar 
they're coming with injection mold or something that increases the stability honestly guys the one that I'm gonna go with is probably mm, this one's tough actually I take that back it's between one and two for sure for me I'm probably gonna go mm, this is tough I'm probably gonna go with the tier two one. Reason being, we're gonna go and inspect it is because of life support. I really like a perk like that, especially on a hand cannon. Um, I don't know, I, I like it. That's just me though. Um, and then this week what he's selling, or he has for us is the uh, scout rifle, the hand cannon again, uh, along with the pulse rifle. Suros PDX 45 pulse rifle. Pick this one up guys, pick it up. And then the rocket launcher. This honestly, if you guys can get the roll, the god roll on it, it comes with uh, grenades and horseshoes. That is honestly the best thing you can get on that. Um, so I'm gonna pick up the port, uh, pulse 45 pulse rifle. Um, the reason being is because the stats are very similar to the hawk saw in terms of fire rate. Um, depending on what you get, you can get a full auto or perfect balance counterbalance roll on it. Um, that's kind of what you would want. Um, if you want something different, especially magazine size, but I'm gonna pick that one up. And the other ones I'm not too excited about. I think I'm gonna pick up the pulse rifles, and that's pretty much it. Uh, the other ones I have, and I'm not really satisfied with them at all. Um, but yeah, guys, that pretty much does it for the video um, today. And uh, yeah, I'll be posting up some gameplay for um, uh, Iron Banner, almost said Trials of size. Iron Banner that I was playing with uh, yesterday, had fun, not too bad, came up against a few six-man teams, but it is what it is, we left it at that, and uh, yeah, YouTube, if you guys did like the video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe if you're new to the channel, and uh, I'll see you guys later, peace.